Mine is Saxena. I'm seven years old. I'm from India and I live in Singapore. Wonderful. You can share your screen. Do you know how to share your screen? Oh, I guess you do. Hello everyone. I am Arav Saxena. I'm seven years old. I'm from India and I live in Singapore. My hobbies are reading books and making Lego structures. I like science. I also like to play chess on the weekend. I'm also learning to code and, and I like making projects on the scratch coding platform. I have made many projects on Scratch, but today I'm going to show you some of them. They are Maths Operations Calculator, Cannon Shooter Game, Save an Animation on How to Save the Coral Reefs, the Polygon Drawing Parrot, and the Circus. Let's start with the mini. Let's start with the Maths Operation Calculator. My Maths Operation Calculator can do four math operations. Addition, Subtraction, Multiplication, and Division. Let's see, let's see the, the Maths Operation Calculator. The dinosaur asks to choose the first number. I'm going to type 12. Then I, then I'm then it asks to choose the second number. Then I I'm going to choose 2. Then it asks to choose an operation button. Then I'm I'm going to click division. The answer is 6. Through this project, I learned about operators, variables, and broadcasting messages. Let's go to my next project. It's the cannon shooter game. It's a this is a point and shoot game in in where you need to use your mouse pointer to point the cannon towards the come towards the monster and shoot them by clicking the space bar when you click the space bar a ball will come out of the cannon and if it hits a monster you will score a point let me show you how it works When I was clicking the space bar, a ball was coming out of the cannon and it was hitting the monsters. Through this project, I learned about cloning, conditionals and loops. Let's go on to my next project. It's the animation. In this animation, I'll show how our happy ocean with the healthy corals are turning into the sad into the sad ocean because of pollution and fishing. I will also tell how we can save them. So here the fishes are talking. They talk about playing and then they start playing. 
After that, ships come and they start polluting the ocean. They start catching the fish and and oil spills happen. Now the fishes are talking about going to the scientist so that he can help. Then they go to the beach. Then they go to the beach. Then the scientist tells how to save the coral reefs. In the end, it shows the ways to save the coral reefs. We should we should stop eating and catching fish. We can also save water. Volunteer in local beach cleanups is a good idea. The, if you die, we should not touch the corals. Practice safe boating. We should not use too many chemicals or plastic cutlery or bags. My next project is the polygon drawing parrot. Here, the when you click different buttons, the parrot will draw various types of polygons. Let me show you. If you click the up arrow, it draws a pentagon. If you click the down arrow, it draws an octagon. If you click the right arrow, it draws a decagon. If you click the left arrow, it draws a nice circle. You can also erase the work. When you click the space bar, it'll draw a pattern using this, the pentagon. It'll draw it around. Through this project, I learned about the pen component, nested loops, and angles and geometry. Let's go, finally go on to my last project, Circus. This is a fun animation project in which when you click the character, they'll come to the stage and, and perform, dan perform a dance. There will also be some music. there was some music. Through this project, I learned about motion loops. Through this project, I learned about motion loops and, and broadcasting messages. My favorite project was the cannon shooter game as I like to play and create point and shoot games a lot. I learned many new things in these projects like science, maths, things about the environment and also coding many games. Thank you. I like how it says goodbye for now because that means we're going to see you again, right? Yeah. You know, we do one of these every three months. So as you learn new things and make even cooler things, you'll have to come back and show us some of those. Are you sure you're not a teacher? Yes. You're very smart. There's a lot of comments on um, YouTube about you. It says... Go, Arav. Woohoo. And it says, very good, Arav. <laughs> and it says, awesome, Arav. Such a nice presentation. And um, Arturo says, very good. You are a skillful programmer. 
How's that make you feel? Happy. Yeah. Uh, you did very good. So um, it's it's interesting some of the things that he was showing us as favorites like the coral reef. So I'm assuming that that's already um, the subject matter you've already put in there for them to select from. Like he got to choose that to do something about the coral reef or was that all his, um, did he bring the idea in with him, Juhi? Uh, so uh, actually he likes watching cartoons and there is one uh, cartoon he has watched Octonauts where they show how to save coral reefs, what's happening to the oceans. And then from there, the children are inspired to even create animations themselves and show to other kids and people how to save our oceans, what's happening to our oceans. So. Sometimes even the cartoons or reading books are inspiration for them to make such projects. It's very good. Some very nice lessons with it. That's why, what do you think about yeah. what he's done? Yeah, it's super actually. So Arab, how long you have been learning coding? Arab, am I spelling your, uh, pronouncing your name right? Arab? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My name is S Y. I'm from Hong Kong. So uh, you you did a wonderful job. So have you been to Hong Kong? No. No. Next time you come here, I I bring you to Ocean Park. Wow. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. So yeah. My question was, how long have you been learning coding? Coding. From last year. From last so, year. Did he just start when you started this, Juhi? So has, he, has he only been doing this for less yes, than a year? For, for, for a year, yeah. Wow. Yeah, okay. So, so what you have learned actually is around three years we learned in schools. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Yeah, you like it, I think. Hello. What do you want to do next? Mm. I want, I want to learn more new things in coding. Oh, okay. What would you like to make when you, when you learn some new coding? I want to make, I want to make even better games. I liked your circus one. It had a, that was the first time I ever saw a dinosaur at the circus. <laughs> it was very good. I have a, I have a seven year old son too that lives here and he would love to do what you're doing. And I think that I'm going to have to introduce him to the program. Do you think any kid could do it if they pay attention and, and go through this terrain ninjas? Yes. Yes. They can. All it's right. very actually. It's because it's so fun that they await for uh, their classes. Oh yes, I got to do something else now. <laughs> Learn something new and make something new. Well, very good. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. And and do have Juhi bring you back again to show us your progress in the future. Okay. Sure. Sure. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for hosting earlier too. I think you did, didn't you, Juhi? Sorry? Were you a host earlier as well? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I will be hosting at 12 my time. Ah, so yes. No. Okay. Well, then I'll see you again soon. Sure. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.